In this Metasploit Minute, I'm going to be taking a previously obscured Android Meterpreter payload, decompiling it, and then embedding it inside another Android APK that we decompile. Uh, I'm going to be doing this directly from terminal. The first thing we're going to do is generate our obscured payload. We're inside the var www directory. Uh, we're in the same directory as before and you can see our APK backdoor tool is still there. So we're going to use MSF Venom, we're going to use a payload, and we're going to use Android, Meterpreter, Reverse, TCP. We're going to give it the L host of 192.168, what was it, 43.109, L port is 6677. This is going to be in a raw file, and we're going to put it inside virus.apk. Press enter. Okay, from this point, we now have both our virus and our Snapchat APKs. We're going to decompile both of these. So we're going to use APK tool to decompile Snapchat first, and then we're going to decompile virus. This will result into two directories that have our blobs of Java code in them. So, virus. Okay. You can see our virus directory. You can see our Snapchat directory. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our virus. We're going to we're going to copy our permissions. That will be the first thing we do. Actually, yep, yeah, we'll copy our permissions. All right. So I'm using GPM, which is a tool for a uh, console for copy and pasting uh, information. You copy with left click and you paste with right click. We used to use this in Slack Boy 3.6. That used to be our main tool. Okay, um, we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to Snapchat and we're going to open up that Android manifest. We're going to go over here to permissions and we're going to paste it. So there's all our permissions pasted in there. Um, it looks like, uh, wait a minute. Nope, we had to go one up. That was why. There we are. All right, and we're going to save that. Okay, now that we saved our permissions in there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go inside our virus folder. We're going to look in Somali. We're going to see it as a com directory. We're going to see it as Google. And there's our ads app directory from before. There's all our payload information inside our ads app directory. Um, the payload, that's what we want to load. So we're going to get out of this virus folder and we're going to go inside the Snapchat folder. We're going to go inside the Somali directory. Uh, inside here there is tons of code, but we're interested, we have to put it in the same directory. So we're going to go in com. Um, we see there's a lot of stuff in com, and look, there's a Google directory already for us, and there's two things there. There's Android and there's JSON. So we don't have to make any directories. If there was not a Google directory, we'd have to make directory and etc. But in this case, we're going to copy recursively CP negative R. We're going to copy the virus, Smalley, uh, com, Google, ads app, right? And we're going to put that in Snapchat. Smiley, com, Google. That's what I did right there. Uh, now that that's all copied in, so we have our permissions, we have our payload in there. The only thing we have to do now is hook it somewhere. So we're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna use um we're gonna use that a APK tool. Uh, give me twenty one lines from the from the back of it, right? And if we notice, they're looking for this. This script is looking for an on create, right? And then it's gonna once it finds it, it's gonna press enter, and it's gonna add this line right here, which is the hook. Uh, if any of you's viewed the tutorial um, tutorials from Vivs, you would know that there's like seven or eight different states to an Android application: on load, uh, on create, on pause, on resume on destroy, on unload, um, but in this case we're looking for the on create. That's when we know all the assets are loaded, uh, it's all in memory, we're ready to go. So, um, whoops. so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go inside our uh, virus folder, uh, not our virus, our snapchat folder, 
and we're going to look inside our Android manifest again and we're going to be going down these are all our contacts we added and we're looking for activities uh, we notice a couple of them here there's an activity over here for um, com Google Android ads and there's an ads activity that's probably the legitimate ads if we delete this maybe it would delete the ads from their application maybe not the next one is a single single task and that is a login and sign up activity right here um, we're not going to add it to that either but it sounds promising we could add it to that um, the next one is com snapchat android kids settings activity so I'll bet you if you set kids settings um, that that's where it would hook so if your phone isn't in kid mode it would probably never amount to a session um, another one over here we're looking at is Android com snapchat Android landing page activity that's the hook where I'm gonna hook it the landing page activity um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of here we're gonna go inside the smiley folder we're gonna go inside com right uh, remember we're going inside uh, snapchat and then we're gonna go inside landing p or uh, no android and then there should be landing page activity here and there is there it is landing page activity so I'm just gonna copy that All right I'm gonna buy hit that I'm gonna press escape I'm gonna do question mark and I'm gonna do lowercase on because this is case sensitive on create I'm gonna press enter it's gonna bring me right here to the on create I'm gonna to go to the end of the line I'm gonna accomplish that by doing escape capital A I'm at the end of the line I press enter and then I right click on my mouse oh see what happened cuz I copied that other thing I lost my uh, I lost my hook there she is copy that hook okay let me get back in there once again search for it a bop there it is okay now if you remember we also changed it it is no longer com metasploit stage it is com google ads app okay and to make it look nice let's just space it right yeah all right so now that we got it hooked we just have to re repackage this so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use APK tool. we're gonna B we're gonna negative O snapchat virus dot APK I put them both together and we're gonna do this in a snapchat folder right bang okay now after this APK is built this will run on any emulator inside your computer but it will not run on any phone until it is signed so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to sign this um, and we're also gonna again use that APK backdoor to get the one-liner out to uh, sign the application couldn't have did it without these guys Jack 64 and Tim WR okay let's see here we go we're gonna tail give me the last 20 lines of APK backdoor right here is the sign here's the signer right we're gonna paste that and right here we're gonna take out the part of their script and then just manually type in snapchat virus APK now it's gonna go ahead and sign it all for us beautiful now we're gonna move the snapchat virus APK to HTML we're gonna sue into the root and service Apache to start exit out of there okay so there are our two files All right now we're going to take this take our phone All right unlock it oh screen cracked isn't it terrible she's reload okay so now we got got our files over here there we go snapchat virus okay downloading downloading the virus okay 
click it to install next install installing I'm gonna flash back to the screen here um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to bring open uh, X11 and uh, just to show you what's going on here. As you see, uh, this is the same thing we did last time. Use exploit handler, set the payload, set the ho host, port, exit on session, full exploit. So it's now running. It's ready. It's waiting for uh, something to connect. Um, we're going to go ahead and do uh, a split screen. Split screen right here. And let me see, turn this on, boop, and it's waiting for us to open this application that's been installed. Now, as soon as we open this application, open, you'll see that the staging was sent. So um, the staging sent to, the, to that file, and what we could do is we could open the session, sessions, negative I, number one, right? Now we're in. We could type help, right, uh, help. It will give us all the commands. I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to go back, take that off, put my key on. Okay. Now that I have this open, I can show you what exactly is going to happen when I do something like webcam snap. I do web... Oh, why is it failing? Why is it failing? Oh, webcam snap. There we go. That's why it was failing because it was already in use by uh, it was already in use by the um, Snapchat application, so the camera was tied up. Okay, so there you go. We got uh, we got a picture of of what it is. Um, so we got the. Uh, the picture from it. We could also record mic. We could record mic for a duration of let's say eight seconds, and then once we stop talking, it's going to be recording it, and will automatically play back on the computer. And then once we stop talking, it's going to be recording it, and will automatically. See, uh, so once you got this in here, you could access their location, geolocation. You could get their call logs, SMS. You could take pictures from their uh, webcam. You could uh, get their audio from it from their microphone. It's all there and uh, it ex obscures the antivirus as well. I un uninstalled the antiviruses on this phone because it slows it down. But uh, that's the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a, a call and I'll help you out. Thank you. Hope. Oh.